So can you guess what this is just by looking at it or uh, reading the title of the video, perhaps? Um, this is another French knife from my uh, one of my favorite retailers, knivesoffrance.com. If you're looking for French pocket knives and you live in the United States, uh, check out Knives of France. He's got some cool stuff over there. Uh, this knife is the violin in horn. If you can see right here, the price of this was $63. With coupon code BAKERYWIZARD, I saved $6.30. So I paid $56.70 for this pocket knife. Uh, you guys can also use code BAKERYWIZARD, all lowercase, like it was written on that receipt there. Um, but yeah, this is the GR Violin. Um, this blade should be uh, C75 carbon steel. Let me see if I can wipe the blade off a little bit. Uh, fingerprints and oil and everything, you guys know. Nope, I just got t shirt stuck in a man's face. Okay. Well, that's not ideal. <laughs> okay, so the man's going to look slightly red now because <laughs> my, my red t shirt got stuck in his face a little bit. Okay, but anyway, interesting uh, man. He's like stamped in there um, or etched, you know, kind of deep in there. Uh, you get this like spear point blade, pretty big blade, thick blade, which is interesting for a French knife. Um, this kind of swell center type of handle here, almost like a Coke bottle, but definitely not a Coke bottle. Um, and these horn handles, let me close the knife here. Um, these horn handles that have some variation in them, which is cool. Um, I believe these are steel bolsters, steel back springs, steel liners, all that. You can pinch it open, which is nice. The action on this one's not quite as aggressive as some of my other uh, French knives or GR knives or whatever. Not quite as uh, ridiculous or anything. Of course, like all these French knives, you don't really want to slam this one closed although the blade does not quite sit on the back spring it will smack the back spring so i like to try to avoid uh, just slamming it shut even though i do that with all of my other knives just not my french knives um, but yeah smooth smooth opening smooth closing oh well that was probably okay the action could be a little bit better but it's certainly not bad and i like how smooth it opens and closes that's nice and then it still has a snap which is nice uh but yeah there's no there's no tang stamp on this knife actually now i think about it i don't know if any of my french knives really have tang stamps i guess the barrel knife does but a lot of them just stamp whatever on the blade so it's got this little guy which i guess is like the symbol for gr uh, which is interesting but this doesn't say france on it anywhere <laughs> Which is interesting. Um, reminds me of the controversy with that uh, Queen Big Boy Trapper a little while ago, where you know it's not stamped USA, so people are like, "Is it really made in the USA?" Um, but yeah, this is a neat little knife. I saw it and I'm like, "Oh, cool! He's got new inventory, uh, carbon steel inventory," because that's pretty much what I buy when it comes to traditional pocket knives. I don't really like a lot of stainless steel knives. Um, and I much prefer carbon because it stains and everything. Now, some people will say carbon holds an edge better than stainless steel. That's not what it is about. That's not what it is for me. Like for me, it's just completely about the fact that the blade stains and darkens and the knife changes over time. Like that really um, is what excites me about traditional pocket knives is them changing over time. So I really prefer carbon steel. I have a video on it about why I prefer carbon steel, but um, I just do like carbon steel. You know, if you don't, they do have stainless knives. He does have stainless knives over there. Um, but I really like carbon steel. And this was a new offering from him, the violin here. A uh, fairly large knife. I didn't grab my ruler because of course I didn't. Um, but you know, probably about three and a half, four inch handle. Probably about a three and a half inch blade here. God, I'm pretty good at guessing on that. Um, unfortunately, I don't see my ruler within easy reach. I think I just see it now. Let me see if I can grab it without 
knocking too much stuff around here. Okay, so my ruler. Let's see how close I was on those guesses. Mm, okay, slightly under three and a half inch blade, more like three and a quarter. Um, and then the handle's probably about three and a half then. No, the handle's over four. Okay, handle's about four and a quarter. So I was close, I guess you could say. Uh, might as well leave the ruler here. Um, but I haven't really carried this knife yet because, you know, generally I do my videos before I carry the knife to show you guys what you get when you order the knife or what you should get when you order the knife. Um, but it's nice put together really well. Um, the only real, like, fit thing is there is some gapping here, but there's no blade play um, when it's open. Now when it's closed, it, the blade does wander a little bit. And you can kind of see that where it'll stay over there. You can bring it back. So the blade does wander a little bit when it's closed. So if I wanted to try to fix that, I guess I probably could. Uh, but I'm not super worried about it because there's no play when it's open. It's just when it's closed. Um, but overall, this does feel like a pretty beefy knife. It feels like a knife that would be a good hardworking pocket knife, which is what I think a lot of these like French pocket knives are. Is they're just meant to be uh, tools, you know, and used as such, much like the Arthur Wright knives that I've been doing a lot of videos on recently. Uh, they're kind of just meant to be tools and used and stuff. Like, these are not, like, collector's pieces, really. Uh, now, that being said, I've got quite the collection of French knives going. Uh, but for me, they're more about having different uh, cutlery from around the world, pretty much. And, you know, using it, seeing how I like it and everything. Um, but, cool little knife. Um, I definitely like it. I don't know if I like it quite as much as the Alpin or the um, prattle, but it is a neat knife, and I will carry it and see how I like it. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be this video on this GR violin uh, from knivesoffrance.com. Once again, uh, coupon code BAKERYWIZARD if you want to save, I think it's 10% on $50 or more is how that code works. Um, but yeah, so if you want to check out a knife over there, uh, you guys should do that because he's got pretty cool uh, knives over there. Uh, his inventory seems to grow every now and then, so that's cool. Uh, and it seems like he's, you know, just a small business owner. And I really like the way he seems to be running his business. Uh, but anyway, um, that's going to be the video on this GR, uh, GR violin. Um, I hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you in the next one.